we're live. Hi. Hi. We're uh, on the road, still on the road, and uh, we thought we would just um, get y'all, let y'all hear us, uh, see where we're at and what we're doing now. We're <laughs> yeah, we've been talking and, and uh, reminiscing, yeah. reminiscing about all the uh, places that we used to go downtown, down, uh, Jackson, and about what we used to do and everything. Um, some of the places, you know, uh, Linda, she remembers that I don't. Um, but she, then when she gets to talking about it, I, some of it I do remember. But we're not too far from Vicksburg, are we, Linda? No, we're getting close. So, the roads in Mississippi are really rough, aren't they? We're in Louisiana right now. Oh, that's right. We are in Louisiana. Okay. Uh, so, I think Linda might may not be working. Is mine working, Linda? My seatbelt might have done something to it. Uh, we, we thought we had our uh, our battery was on. Can y'all hear us? Yours is working. Okay, mine is working. All right. Uh, we thank y'all for all your prayers. Uh, yes. Um, I'm fixing to get around this car or this truck as soon as I can. Yeah. We're uh, we're behind a, what is that, a truck pulling cars? Yeah. It's a carrier. So, um, I don't know if we'll have time or not, but um, I'd like to go downtown Mississippi, Mary, and yeah. uh, downtown Jackson, not yeah. Mississippi, but see if we can uh, remember where the or decide where the stores were that we used to go in. Yeah. Learner shops where you work. Yeah. The, That's the, the first job I ever had was yep. in Jackson at Learner Shops. First job I ever had, I was 18. Indeed, my. And I, my first full-time job, not full-time, I worked full-time, but my first permanent job was downtown Jackson also a yeah. telephone office. Yeah. Um, I worked before then, but I wasn't allowed to start to work at the telephone office until I turned 18. Can you imagine? I know. They, I know. Nobody, Allstate was going to hire me, and the telephone office yeah. was going to hire me, but neither one would hire me because I wasn't 18. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We were just out of, well, I was just out of high school. I was 18, too, when we moved to Mississippi, and and uh, Dad, Daddy never would let me work, work doing, let us girls work doing anything outside the home. And then whenever uh, I graduated, well, I went to work at learner shops, and that was, uh, I, I loved to work. I loved to be, be with people, you know, and, and, and interact with them and everything. But um, it was... Um, it was just a, 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 the first job, you know. I was on. I think I made. I think it was seventy-five dollars a week. I worked full time. I was gonna ask you, did you remember yeah. what you made an hour? Um, must have been a dollar and something. I think an it was. Hour. I think it was seventy-five cents. And then they put your pay in an envelope. Yes. With your little pay stub. Yes. And it was yes. handwritten, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We didn't have no cash registers. We had to figure the sales ourselves. The tax, add up the sale and everything on a pad, and then go to the register and give the change back. So whatever we added up is our drawers had to come, come out that way that that night. Yeah, and um, when we first when I first started working there, uh, it was seventy five cents an hour. I know okay. it was seventy five cents an hour, and um, I um, I started out working on the floor, and I was selling so much. You know, I was just doing so much, and then they needed somebody on the register to uh, take the sales. So then I, I bet to that, and then um, it was commission on I some was of the. I to ask you if you made commission. Uh, well, let me tell you about that. There was two ladies that had been older ladies that had been working there for a long time. They were on commission, and they were the only ones that got commission. <laughs> well, um, if the reason I ask is you got said. Did you say you got seventy-five dollars? No, I, I I got that wrong. I got said I got thirty-seven dollars. I thought it, I was thinking it was I made, thirty something. It was seventy-five cents an hour, and I I brought home thirty-seven dollars. Can you imagine working for thirty-seven dollars yeah. in a week? Yeah, I know. Well, I did inventory with y'all one time, and I found out real quick <laughs> retail was not for me. I did not like it a bit. Not, I, not at all. I worked on retail uh, a lot. I was a, uh, one of the um, 
supervisors in Dillard's at one time in the China department. Okay. I worked in the China department in Shreveport, Louisiana. I remember that. Yeah. I was in Mississippi, but I remember yeah. you working there. I started out working in the lingerie department, and I folded and kept everything so much, uh, it's straight and neat and everything, So the manager came along and came up to me one day, and she, he said, how would you like to, to move up a notch? And I said, well, what are you talking about? And he said, well, how would you like to be a uh, supervisor in the China department? Well, I took it because it was a raise in money, you know. Of course. And uh, that was a, a big responsibility, too. That would have been in the 70s, too, right? Uh, um, Carla, I mean, Linda, Linda was about two, she was uh, about two years okay, old. Okay, so that would have been in the, in the 80s. 80s. Okay. Yeah, Linda was about two. She was between one and two years old. Okay, and, so uh, that was that was in the uh, a yeah. little bit later than I was thinking it right. was. Well, um, we were talking early about cross about the Mississippi Bridge, and uh, of course there's there's one there, and it's not new anymore, but it's it's the newer bridge that go, goes across the Mississippi River, and and it's kind of it's not scary. It's not the scariest bridge by any means that I've ever been across, but. Um, the old bridge was. Yeah, the old, old bridge, bridge was scary. Was it was two lanes. So narrow. And very, very narrow. And I know that I've told about our cousin Lewis that came across on the motorbike uh, to come to see us. But uh, this was, this had to be in, in, I don't know, the late 60s or maybe early 70s. Um, there was a camp meeting going on in Aunt Tynsey and Uncle Denny's. Our uncle and aunt, daddy's sister, they pastored church for years, and it was there in the center. And um, Sister Jean and Sister Arlene was going that night to this camp meeting. And there yeah. was going to be a lot of people there, our pastors from our childhood church, and a lot of people that we grew up knowing was going to be there. And we decided that we, me and Edward decided we won't go. I think you had already left Mississippi at that time, Mary. I might have been. I think you had. Yeah. So, um, of course, Daddy, Edward's wife, wanted to go. And so we, we asked her mama. Her mom and Daddy were real particular. And um, we asked, could Debbie go? And she said, yes, she can. But Sally needs to go with her. That was Debbie's little sister. Well, now, were they Ed and Debbie married? No. No. Was this before I was, they got married? I lived up here when they so got married. So you were still in Mississippi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Mildred, and that's Debbie's mother, Mildred um, told me, she said, all I ask you is if one of my babies gets hurt, you get them to a doctor. And I said, okay, I promise I will. So me and Edward was working. We had one day off. We drove over here, which, you know, it's the same distance today as it was then, but you didn't drive as fast then yeah, as you yeah. did today. And um, so we drove over here that that day, went to church that night, got there just right before church, and drove back that night. Well, Edward hadn't been driving, hadn't been, we hadn't got very far, and he'd been driving a lot longer than I had, because I didn't start get my driver's license until I was almost 20. But um, Edward got sleepy. We was, it was at night, you know, late at night, he got sleepy. And so I said, well, Edward, pull over, I'll drive. And like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of experience in driving. And so I drove. Did I, you have your license? Oh, yeah, I had my okay. license. Uh, we'll have to tell about that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> um, but, I, yeah, I wouldn't have been driving if I hadn't had my license. And so we were driving, and the, everybody in the car was asleep with me. And we were crossing this old bridge, because that's the only one that was up then, over, over the Mississippi River. And Edward woke up and saw that bridge, and he about had a fit. And the fame, and the fame, you going to cross this bridge? <laughs> and I said, I was just driving. I said, I got, we got to cross it, Edward. <laughs> I just kept on driving. We went, got to Jackson, got Debbie and Sally off. They lived in Jackson. We lived in Rankin County. And dropped them off and went on home and got ready. Edward went to work. He was working at Jetney Jungle on North State Street. And I was working, um, I guess I was working the telephone office. And we both had been up all night long. We both went to work and worked that day. That's uh, just, that's what we did back then. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we, we were young, you know. We didn't mind, uh, Setting up all night and going to work. We did the same thing for school a lot of times. Yeah, we did. We, 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 we wouldn't get many hours sleep. Yeah, we 
sure did. So, um, the um, store got my driver's license. So, we sold dinners for years at the church. We were yeah. always doing something to raise money. Um, and we sold peanut brittle fudge. I, uh, it's my I, I don't know if it is that they can't understand what you're saying. Okay. Um, so, the sound see, is, is this worse. any better? Said the sound was worse. Uh, I don't know why they can't hear. Sound is bad. I don't know either. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know. Any no. I don't know if I should keep talking or not. Yeah. That's okay. Go ahead. So, um, we had just, Mary and I had just been to Brandon, which is the seat of Rankin County. Mary took me down there to get my driver's license. And the story behind me not driving until I was in my late teens is because I had two brothers and one sister, and every one of them, they were drive, driving, um, like, like driving Miss Daisy crazy. They liked to drive. <laughs> And, and they always, anytime anybody wanted to go anywhere, they wanted to drive it. All of them had been driving since they were kids, and I mean literally kids, like 11, 12 years old, 10, 11, 12 years old. And I just didn't see any need to, to need to drive. Everybody yeah. in our house drove but me, and I just didn't see any need to. So that's why I didn't start driving until I was in my late teens. But she took me to Brandon that day, and it was, we were taking orders, so it had to be very during the week, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, because we, we delivered dinners on yeah. Friday Yeah, at the, from the church. So uh, we were coming back from Brandon. We was on Highway 80 in Pearl. And I got my little driver's license. I was so proud, and I was driving. And um, we got down, and Mary said, turn here. Uh, make a U-turn. Mary said, it make was a U-turn. It <laughs> I caused her to get a ticket. I am, I, every day since that day, I will not make a U-turn unless I'm absolutely sure. I, I seen the sign cool. after you turn, but I did not see the sign that said no U-turn. <laughs> I did not. It was, it's funny now, but it was yeah, not funny. No, it, that was, day. it was, it was not, not funny at all. And I know people are asking what's wrong with Carla. Uh, Carla's, uh, she's got a kidney infection. And so her immune system is low, so she's that's the reason she has her mask on, and she wanted to come so bad until she's um, she's with us, but she's been real sick with a kidney infection, so that's why she's feeling a little. She's bit feeling better, a lot she's better. Still, she's still yeah. not feeling she's, up to par. She's taking several shots, vitamins, and and different things and, and antibiotics, and, antibiotics and she got some uh, IV fluids yesterday so um, she's doing much much better but she's just being precautious about wearing her mask so um, but y'all can y'all can say a prayer for her um, she's she's gonna be okay so you were talking about when y'all and yes and thank y'all for asking yes you were talking about when y'all moved we were talking earlier about when y'all moved to Cleveland Mississippi for Bobby's work yeah uh, Bobby was a, a union bricklayer and uh, his job wanted him to go to we lived in Jackson or, or actually Florence actually it wasn't Florence it was called Plain Mississippi and that doesn't even exist anymore it's Richland now but right th but back then um, Carla on Carla's birth certificate it says Plain Mississippi <laughs> and that's no such a place right now but anyway we, that's where we live that's where we bought our home at and uh, but the company wanted Bobby to go to a job in Greenville Mississippi and like I said we owned our home Chuck was a baby and um, so we went up there, uh, we, we went and we rented, it was a little mobile home, a two bedroom uh, mobile home, and uh, you know, we were, you know, Bobby was a union bricklayer, but you know, it still takes a lot of money when you're, when you're we have two, two payments, I believe, but we have two vehicles, but anyway, um, we didn't have, we had the money for the rent, but we didn't have the money for the deposit. So we um, 
we, the man was really nice. Uh, he lived right next door. He said, I tell you what, y'all go ahead and move in, and then uh, Friday, you can, the, the first, the week, I, we've been there a week, you can just uh, pay us the deposit. So he came out to get it on that next Friday for the deposit, and he walked in. I, when I got to that trailer, it wasn't that really that bad, but I mean, I didn't have anything to do, and I like to clean the house. I cleaned that trailer. I cleaned the walls, everything in that, I mean, the floors, everything. I scrubbed and cleaned because I had a baby. I had two babies, but Carla was, she was three. No, she was two. No, she was three because Chuck was a baby. Anyway, um, we, um, so he came in and he seen it. He seen the trailer. He said, ma'am, you don't owe me no deposit. So this trailer's cleaner than it's ever been. <laughs> so anyway, uh, and then the, uh, then there was another couple. Uh, they sent another man up there for work. And um, she, he had a little, uh, his wife and a little baby. And they had asked Bobby if they could move, stay with us until he got kind of on his feet where he had, had enough money to rent him a little place too. So they did. They was came. he working at the same place? They Bobby was working. Yeah, they was. So he yes. was a union bricklayer. He was a too. union bricklayer too, but he was a little younger than Bobby. But y'all didn't know him, right? right? We didn't know him. He just knew that he was working for the company, and they and he asked Bobby on the job one day. Told him he he the man came first, and then he said he told him he had a wife and baby, and uh, was having a hard time getting a place to stay right then and so Bobby told him that they could come and stay with us that we had another bedroom so which he did he stayed with us and uh, with the little baby and uh, I was telling Linda it's so strange to me because um, I got up every morning and fixed Bobby a lunch and fixed him breakfast and I don't I don't know why this young lady she didn't do that I just I just <laughs> thought it was kind of odd and I even felt kind of odd asking the lady if she wanted me to fix him a lunch but i think i did fix that man a lunch a few times because he worked all day i don't know what he was doing about a lunch you know they worked hard this yeah they Daniel worked hard Weber. in the on that sun you know in the brickland and um so anyway uh just different people uh but i was up with the baby a lot but i always got up and um, fixed my husband breakfast and uh a lunch because I I appreciated him getting out and working so hard and providing for us and that back then there wasn't food places on every corner no. like it is today mm -mm. and they probably didn't have it have enough long enough lunch hour anyway to go get something right. so you, no, he, he always carried a lunch yeah, right I remember one time bless his heart uh, Bobby uh, you know, you just fix, I fixed just whatever I had, or either leftovers from the night before or something. One day he came in, and it was a bologna sandwich at this time. He didn't always take a bologna sandwich, but he liked bologna. And uh, he came uh, home, and he said, that bologna sandwich was good until I bit into that paper. It was stuck, the bologna had stuck to the top of the paper. <laughs> and I put it on, and probably one of the mornings I'd been up half the night with Chuck, <laughs> and I had didn't have the wrapper, not the wrapper, but the top of the paper was stuck to the baloney. I said, oh goodness, and I made sure that didn't happen again. That's funny. <laughs> but um, anyway, like what got, are we getting close to the bridge? Like we got something up here. It's a way station. What's going on? Yeah. So anyway, uh, just reminiscing, you know. Uh, Mississippi brings back a lot of memories for me because that is where I started my married life. That's where I got married at and had my first two children and so it just brings back a lot of memories it does it brings back i remember when they built highway 20 interstate 20 I, do too. I remember i do too i mean we rode on it uh me and some of the young people from the church when it wasn't even open we yeah they they would every once in a while they'd let cars get on it and it wasn't officially open and because we always come when we went from texas to mississippi or mississippi texas we went highway 80 it was a two-lane road there yeah. was not an interstate i remember that and so uh, the exits were, you know, there wasn't a lot of stuff on the exits getting off uh, like it is today. And uh, one time we were coming back from Texas. When, when we coming back, we were, I think we were coming back from Texas going to Mississippi. And uh, Mama went the wrong way. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. Edward got out and made sure that the median was dry and 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 directed her to come across that median. Now y'all don't do that because it's against the law. Not supposed yeah. to do it, but y'all keep in mind this was 50, 40, 50 years ago. But um, uh, and then there was another time, and I didn't mention this earlier, Mary, when we were talking. But um, we're fixing it not too far from the bridge. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I'm gonna um, the camera around. Mama bit. was by herself, and she had been down there. To, she'd been back to Texas to either check on Ma or Pa or Uncle Herschel. Somebody had been sick, or it could have been Pinky or Pinky Ma. It was one of them. And she was coming back, and I don't know why she didn't have enough gas money because Mama was not, she was not a risk taker, and, and I don't know why, but she needed gas, and yeah. it was somewhere between Monroe and Jackson that yeah. she knew that she was not going to make it, Right. and she stopped at this station, and she had no money, and she went in and told them she did not have any money, and she needed some gas, and she had some toys. They were new that she had bought. Do you remember this, Mary? No, I don't, Linda. I don't believe I do. This is I'm, I'm showing in the picture. The, okay, that that that, that the, over the there. That is the old. That's the old bridge over there, Mississippi uh, River Bridge. Now that's the one that we traveled. That one over there. That's yes. Old. That one over there. That's the old one that we traveled when we came over here. And this is the new one here. This is much nicer. It's uh, it's four lane we got got two over there and two over here but on that old one over there that the darker uh, uh structure over there that's only two lanes and these big old 18 wheelers used to go i mean scrape the side of the, literally yeah scrape the side of the pavement and their mirrors would meet when they try to cross but anyway we got a nice they got a nice bridge here now this yeah, is the river sure river do. that's the mississippi river so, oh, go ahead, um, Linda. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I'm glad you showed that to him. So, uh, Mama went in and told him that she needed some gas and she didn't have any money and that she needed gas, enough gas to get home on. And again, I don't know why that what happened that she didn't have enough money because this was not something, this was very unusual for her. Yeah. So, um, she told him that she had uh, these new toys and uh, whatever it was, they she gave them enough toys that they would give her gas so she could get back to Jackson on. And I don't know how many toys it was. They were nice toys for that time, for that period. And I couldn't even tell you what kind they were. But that's how she got enough yeah. gas to get home, yeah. get back to Mississippi on. Yeah. It's just things like that that you right. think of a lot that, you know, uh, it, it just makes you feel so humble that you can put gas in your car. Right. Right. And, um, and, and like I said the other day, you may not always have what you want, but so thankful that you have what you have, right. you know, and that's why we always say to count your blessings. So, is there anything else you want to say, no, Mary? We're, we're in Mississippi now, so it won't be much longer, um, probably another couple hours, or we won't be that no, long, will no, we? It, uh, before Hopefully. we get Edwards. Maybe an hour, a little so, over an hour. We got a little over an hour to go before we get to Edwards. And so we'll probably, uh, Edward might want to, um, we might film a little bit with Edwards, but we're just, we're going to go ahead and get off now. Yeah, um, we're hoping that we can, we'll, yeah, we'll be we're able to have to a good enough to. signal right. to film from his house. Right. So thank y'all for joining with us uh, for this little bit of, um, reminiscing about some things that we um, uh, thinking about while we're going to Mississippi. Yeah, our minds are just a rolling about things that, that we have um, encountered or or had in our life. So it all bring care always makes it's part of what we are because no difference where you're at, you you still yourself, you know, and you you encounter hardships and. And togetherness and happiness and and family so 
we love y'all we appreciate y'all supporting us and uh, tuning in with us and I hope y'all are having a good day we really have a nice trip we have a real nice trip we've had a nice trip so thank y'all so much we love you and we will see y'all and uh, hopefully hopefully later later on later this afternoon bye 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 bye